This is sexually appealing to women, 14 irresistible attractive traits backed by science. Leave a like on the video my love and if you are new to the channel subscribe to receive new advice, do this to help the channel continue to grow, leaving a like is all I ask as a gift. If you've ever been curious about what traits women really find sexually appealing, then you are in the right place. Hey, I'm Pamela Raquel, and today I'm going to be revealing 14 traits women find highly attractive. We will delve into why these traits matter and how you can embrace them. So if you are ready to up your attraction game, let's dive right in. Investment in personal growth, an irresistible trait many women find appealing in a man is his commitment to personal growth. A man who continuously seeks to better himself, be it physically, intellectually, or emotionally, is attractive for many reasons. According to Dr. Lisa Firestone, a clinical psychologist, personal development indicates a man's ambition, resilience, and his open-mindedness. Such a man may be an avid reader, a lifelong learner, a fitness enthusiast, or someone deeply involved in cultivating emotional intelligence. This continual pursuit of growth shows he values self-improvement, and this can translate into the effort he puts into his relationships. A man dedicated to personal growth indicates a willingness to evolve and adapt, which is vital for the health and longevity of romantic partnerships. Resilience, this is an admirable quality. Life is a series of ups and downs, and the ability to bounce back from adversity is an important trait. Resilience shows that a man can handle stress, overcome obstacles, and just keep moving forwards. According to psychologist Dr. Meg J, resilience can be a sign of emotional strength and maturity, traits often found appealing in a long-term partner. This doesn't mean that a man never experiences difficulty or distress, but has the strength to rise again after a fall. Social skills, being sociable isn't just about being the life of the party. It's about knowing how to interact with different people in various situations. Women often appreciate men who can navigate social situations with grace and respect. The ability to mix in different circles, make others feel comfortable, and engage in diverse conversations can make a man more appealing. After all, as human beings, we are social animals, and a man's ability to socialize can indicate his adaptability and emotional intelligence. Kindness, it is often said that kindness is a universal language, and its appeal to a romantic partner is undeniable. Being kind means showing empathy, consideration, and respect towards others. According to a study published in the British Journal of Psychology, women are often drawn to men who demonstrate kindness, as it signals a potential partner's suitability for long-term relationships. A kind man is often seen as someone who can provide emotional support, respect his partner's individuality, and create a nurturing environment. More than just an attractive trait, kindness is a virtue that elevates our humanity. Ambition, our fifth point of discussion revolves around the charm of ambition. Ambition can be defined as a strong desire to do or achieve something, often implying a sense of determination and hard work. For many women, ambition in a man is seen as an indicator of his drive, focus, and potential for success. Now, a study by the University of Alaska revealed that women prefer men who are ambitious because it signifies a willingness to invest in the future. It shows that a man is not complacent and strives to better himself and his circumstances. These are all qualities that women look for in a potential partner. However, ambition should be balanced with humility and empathy to prevent it from becoming an unhealthy obsession. Communication skills Communication skills are crucial in making a man attractive to women. Effective communication is the bedrock of any successful relationship, romantic or otherwise. A man who can articulate his thoughts clearly, listen empathetically, and engage in meaningful conversations is likely to be appealing to women. According to psychologists, good communication skills are a sign of emotional intelligence, demonstrating a man's ability to understand, use, and manage his own emotions in positive ways. However, it's crucial to remember that good communication isn't just about talking, it's equally, if not more, about listening and understanding. Passion, a man who is passionate about his interests, hobbies, or work can be immensely attractive to women. Passion indicates a depth of character and a sense of purpose. According to social psychologist Dr. Viran Swamy, when a person speaks passionately about things they love, they radiate positivity and potential, making them more appealing. Also, let's not forget that a man who is passionate in real life is just as passionate in love. However, it's crucial that passion doesn't overtake or eclipse a relationship. It's all about finding balance and sharing mutual interests and excitement. Intelligence, intelligence has always been a trait that many women find sexually appealing. 
A man who is intelligent shows a capacity to understand complex ideas, adapt effectively to the environment, learn from experience, and engage in various forms of reasoning. According to a study published in the journal Intelligence, women value intelligence as it could indicate good genes, better long-term partners, and potentially more successful offspring. But men sometimes use intelligence as a weapon against their partners. Remember to not let your intelligence get to your head because that's a serious red flag. Sense of humor, numerous studies suggest that humor signifies intelligence and creativity. A man who can make a woman laugh is often considered attractive. Research shows that there is truth to this because this ability to bring joy and laughter into a woman's life is not just entertaining but suggests a man's empathy, perceptiveness, and sociability. It's important to note, though, that humor should always be used appropriately. Derogatory jokes or making light of serious issues is not an attractive use of humor. Instead, a good sense of humor should showcase wit, creativity, and kindness. Confidence, it's an indisputable fact that women tend to be attracted to confident men. Esteemed Harvard Medical School psychologist Dr. Robert Brooks argues that confidence can signal emotional stability, assertiveness, and leadership skills. These attributes can act as a powerful magnet in the world of attraction as they suggest a man's capability and self-assuredness. However, this trait can easily be misused or misinterpreted. Arrogance or dismissive behavior can stem from overconfidence, which is definitely not an appealing trait. True confidence should be authentic and balanced, rooted in self-awareness and demonstrate respect for others. Emotional maturity, a man who possesses the ability to understand and manage emotions can be a magnet for many women. Dr. Leslie Becker Phelps, a renowned clinical psychologist, asserts that emotional maturity indicates a man's readiness to participate in a mutually respectful and fulfilling relationship. An emotionally mature man can express his feelings honestly and clearly. He values communication, understands the importance of empathy, and is capable of maintaining a balanced perspective even during conflicts. However, this trait is not about being stoic or suppressing emotions. It's about acknowledging and handling emotions responsibly, reflecting stability and wisdom that many women find sexually appealing. Appreciation for life's simplicities, there's something irresistibly attractive about a man who appreciates the simple things in life. A man who savors the small beautiful moments shows a refreshing level of mindfulness and contentment. These habits demonstrate an awareness and appreciation for life beyond materialistic pursuits, reflecting a depth of character and groundedness that is appealing to many women. After all, a man who finds joy in life's simplicities is likely to bring a similar appreciation to his relationships. Physical fitness, many women are attracted to men who maintain good physical health. But this is not merely a surface-level appeal, it dives into our deepest evolutionary instincts. The perception of physical fitness is often associated with strength, vitality, and overall health, factors that are crucial for our survival. However, in the modern world, the focus on physical fitness can sometimes lead to men feeling pressured to uphold certain standards. It's worth noting that the true essence of fitness is not just about physical appearance but represents a broader state of well-being and longevity. A physically fit man can be perceived as someone who values his health, displays discipline, and takes care of himself, all of which can contribute to his sexual appeal. Courage and vulnerability, last for this video but certainly not least is courage and vulnerability. The widely respected research professor and TED Talk sensation Dr. Breen Brown emphasizes the power of vulnerability in forming authentic connections. A man who is not afraid to be vulnerable, to share his flaws, doubts, and insecurities, exudes authenticity that many women find deeply appealing. This doesn't mean he's constantly overwhelmed by emotions or anxieties, instead, he's comfortable acknowledging that he's human with his set of strengths and weaknesses. This willingness to be vulnerable shows he trusts his partner enough to share his true self, fostering a deep sense of intimacy and connection. While society often portrays vulnerability as a weakness, in the realm of relationships, it's indeed a strength and a mark of courage that can make a man incredibly attractive to women. You are now clued into women's inner desires, ready to uncover more secrets. Explore the signs she's physically attracted to you or the things girls say when they like a guy. Your next revelation awaits. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. Reverse psychology to make her chase you, psychological tricks to get women thinking and wanting you. 
Humans love to feel loved and cared for, and girls don't need men because, well, they can pay their own bills, look after themselves, and they can do their own DIY. It's the fact that they want a man, and this is because they want to be loved and cared for, and it's important to them. So although there's nothing that you can do to make them need you, you can do things to make them want you, and this includes using reverse psychology. You may have never heard what reverse psychology actually is, it's a practice or principle of subtly encouraging behavior or belief by advocating the opposite. So what does this look like in real life? It could be that you really want to go to Italy on holiday and you know that the other person would much prefer to go to France, so you subtly start playing Italian music and taking them out for dinner at an Italian restaurant. Then suddenly they say, you know what? I think I would like to go to Italy instead, and you say, oh, well, I guess we could go there then. You got what you wanted, and the other person, well, they don't realize it's even what you wanted. Another example would be suggesting to your best friend that he is always too stingy and would never buy a round of beers at the pub. Next time you go, he buys the first round. So let's address this firstly, reverse psychology is not manipulation, that is never ever okay in a relationship. It's a tool that you can use alongside body language, flirting, and being yourself to hook a lady in and get her to chase you. And if every gentleman's dream is to get a girl to chase him, well, then this is the video for that dream where we can make that dream come true. Let's look at some harmless reverse psychology tips and tricks to make girls chase you. Giving her space, I get it, it's pretty risky. Will she ever come back if you do this? And the answer is probably. Girls hate space, honestly. I put my hand up for this. It drives me wild sometimes. I will say things like, just go away, I need some space, and I would then be mortified when the guy actually does that. Even if he's just in another room, I will wait 5 minutes and then I'm running back to him, I guess, while chasing him. And if the lady that you have a crush on is a little bit distant, well, give her some space. Don't make the first move, wait for her to message you to arrange something. Giving a girl some space also allows you to both miss each other so that when you guys are back together, you will have more to talk about and everything will be a lot more interesting. Be assertive, sometimes when you are first dating a lady, you want to please her so you let her make all of the decisions, arrange all the dates, and basically call all of the shots. And this is nice, and girls do like it. They also like it when you take charge though and be assertive sometimes. It is important that you put your foot down, arrange the date first, pick the restaurant. You do you. It will let her know that you have a backbone in the relationship and you are not a pushover. It also encourages her to take charge more as it is a natural thing for a lady to be the organizer, and she will like it when you take charge but also want to take more of that power back, meaning she will start being more assertive with you, making the relationship move forwards. How to get her to compliment you, there is a classic reverse psychology trick to get a lady to compliment you. Are you ready? You definitely would have used it before, maybe without even realizing. When you complain about your outfit or your hair, normally a lady will pay you a compliment. An example could be when you say, you know what? I'm not actually too sure about the color of this shirt. I think it kind of washes me out. She will reply with, I love that color on you, you look so handsome. Tada! Compliment. Now that you know that the shirt looks good on you and she thinks that you are handsome, and well, it's always nice to get a compliment, isn't it? You cannot use this trick all of the time though as it does come across slightly desperate when you do keep slipping it out when you need a confidence boost. Well, that is when you suggest it. It also shows a girl that you are not afraid to be vulnerable with them. Be cool, picture this, you are on a date with a girl that you have been seeing for a while, and she is not being her normal, usual self. She's bickering around and picking on things that you are saying. Now, I get it, it's going to be easy for you to get angry, but instead, don't. Keep cool, keep calm, and very collected. Just try to change the subject or avoid falling into her trap. Talk about other things instead, like what your plans are for the weekend. And if she keeps going, just say, I agree, and it will drive her wild but will calm her down. She will return to her normal self, her nice self. You have got what you want, and she will realize there's no point in acting like that moody person. Be unpredictable, ladies absolutely love a man who is unpredictable. They love to be spontaneous and don't really like routine. If, for example, you always take her to the same place on a date, she's not gonna love it. She will know what to expect, the same food, the same chit-chat. It gets old quickly. 
But if you spice things up, take her to a beach on a picnic date, the movies for another night, and then hike on the next weekend, she will never know what's coming next. Now, this goes beyond dates though because it's important to be calm. But if, let's say, your lady keeps picking arguments with you, sit her down and ask her, why are you not happy, babes? Do you need some space? Don't be a pushover, but do be respectful. She won't expect you to talk to her like this, and she will be taken aback, and you might notice a shift in her personality or how she acts. Become friends with her friends, girls love it when guys make an effort with their friends and family. If a girl is being slightly distant from you, becoming friends with her friends can bring her closer. She will love that you are making an effort, and it will also make her interested in you. This is because she will see you chatting to her girlfriends and not want them to steal you. Her brain will suddenly release some chemicals, and she will most likely go straight to you and sit down next to you. She might put her arm around you, give you a cuddle, and get closer to you, well, to pretty much fend you off and let everyone know that you are hers. Even if she is really close with her friends and understands that they would never do this, it's just a natural thing that women do. You don't need to flirt with her friends for this to work, may I remind you. In fact, I would strongly suggest that you don't. It will give you the opposite effect here. Just chat, make a few jokes that will make her friends laugh, and she will be running back to you in no time. Tell her that she is a distraction, gentlemen, you have to be very careful when it comes to this last point. Women only like to not be the center of your universe if it is because you have goals you are working towards. If you are studying and need to concentrate on a test that you were working on, nicely say that unfortunately you need to finish that thing, you have to focus, and once you have finished your test, you will contact her again. She will love you for that because it shows you are focused on your education and very driven, and it drives her wild though because you have other priorities and you are giving something else to your attention. So play this one right, and you will have a lady most definitely chasing you. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. You have to give women this to massively increase attraction, why is space so important? The essence of attraction is space. Now, the attraction will only ever grow if there is enough space between you and the other person. So, let's start right at the beginning, in fact, the day you were born. That's how far we're going. In the beginning, we are just like our parents. We rely on our mother for everything, and because we have grown inside her, we feel as if we are an actual extension of her. As we start walking and talking though, we start displaying our own unique personalities. Our personalities only grow over time, and we develop a sense of independence. The truth is, we all value our independence, and we are not supposed to be around another person all of the time. It's healthy for us to have space and to have our own lives. And today's video is all about uncovering why space is so important but also the many benefits of giving the person that you like plenty of space. Like and subscribe and stay tuned. So why is space important? The fight or flee. When we are really attracted to someone, we tend to chase them. We can't help ourselves. Humans have two responses to being chased, that is either to fight for it or to flee. So let's look a little bit more into what the fight and the flee really mean. Fighting is when she is not that attracted to you, and so she will end up pushing you away or breaking up with you in a nasty, awful way. This can leave you with emotional scars that feel like the pain is going to last a lifetime. But on the other hand, we have the flee. And fleeing is when someone pushes you away or breaks up with you for no real reason. Yes, this does happen. You've probably experienced it. It means that this person was scared because you are showing them so much attention, and it actually starts to put them off you. So now we don't want this to happen, do we? This is why creating space and having enough space is oh so important. So let's dive into the many benefits of space. Let's take a closer look at why space is important and beneficial if you want that relationship to bloom. The first reason is that space actually increases attraction. Space can increase attraction, and I mean this, but dramatically because when we spend time away from someone, they start picturing us in a different way, and it's usually always in a positive way. What I mean by this is if you give a girl space, she will start thinking about the first time she met you, what you looked like, what you were wearing, and your overall body language. She might even remember what you wore. It could be that red-colored t-shirt, and she's thinking, yeah, 
he was really handsome in that outfit. Basically, space gives her mind more time to race and depict you in a different way from how she may have never seen you before. Space increases tension. You know how some relationships seem to have that magical spark, the electric attraction, and a type of tension around them. Well, it most certainly did not just appear overnight. They most likely used space to create this winning formula. So space allows the tension between you both to increase. The feeling of missing someone helps with this a lot. If you are both talking every so often but not as much as you would normally, and you're not seeing each other face to face, you start to build tension by flirting. Don't be overly sexual, though. Just drop in enough flirting, just the right amount, to create some attention between you both, and then you easily just sit back and reap in those benefits. Very commonly overlooked but oh so important. Space gives you more time to focus on yourself. Now, we are all independent at heart, and we all have unique things that make us happy. And if a girl has asked you to give her space, then you respect it, and you give her that time so that you can focus on yourself. Spending time with friends and family is a great way to do this. Another way is to do things you love. For example, going to the movies or even playing sports. Spend time doing something that lights you up, and it will make you a much more desirable partner in the long run. Space allows the other person to miss you. Oh yes, you will start to receive that magical, I miss you, text, and that is probably what you're dreaming of right now. Giving someone space, believe this or not, lets a lady actually start to really miss you. She'll be thinking about what you are busy doing and start wanting to do things with you. You might have to wait maybe a week or two, but she will text you in the end and say something along the lines of, I really miss you, let's meet up, or, I miss you, let's do this thing, and then she sends you a link to a thing that you guys could do together. That's when you know that you have her where you want her, and she's gonna be all yours. You need to still message her during this time, but do it much less, and make sure you stop seeing her as much. Space allows you to think about what you really want. Yeah, that's right. We have spoken a lot about playing hard to get in the past couple of weeks, creating that tension, and winning a girl over. It's been all about her. But the truth is, though, you actually might be wanting to take space from her because maybe deep down something just doesn't feel right. You might have an inkling that things are not as they may seem and that you are not sure if you want that relationship to go past dating and for things to go even deeper. So you can take a step back from everything and think about what it is that you really want. Then instead of fighting or fleeing, you just tell her truthfully how you feel, and you can part on good terms. A very important question, how do you know when a woman wants space? Stay with me on this. Women are often compared to cats because of their need for both space and attention. You see, cats love attention, but it has to be on their terms, not on anyone else's. And you know cat behavior, it's just very mystical. They also like space and to be left alone, and this is exactly what women are like. They want you to pay them attention, but only when they want it. And when they want space, but again, they only want space from you when they ask for it. So, confusingly, how do you know when a woman wants that space? Well, she will start acting distant, not wanting to see you as much, and taking longer to reply to your messages. It will seem as though she is drifting away from you and possibly not as attracted to you as before. This is the moment where you start to pump the brakes and give her the space that she wants badly. You tell her that you are going to give her some space, and when she's ready to see you again, she can contact you. Now, this shows her that you are very confident, confident enough that when she comes back, you will always be the mature one in the relationship, and it encourages her to be mature too. Next question, how much is enough space? This is another tricky thing to watch out for because if you give her too much space, she will think that you're not interested, and she will start the moving on process. But if you don't give her enough, she will feel very suffocated and chaste you need to give her just enough. Now, the secret is you can read this by how often she contacts you. If she starts messaging you first, it means she's ready for you to take the reins into everything to be okay. But if she's not messaging you, though, it means she has either decided to move on or she just needs that space to figure out her feelings. Don't get me wrong, guys, giving a woman space can be risky. You could lose her. But if you do, it means you probably would have eventually lost her further down the line anyway, and she was not the right person for you. But if she sticks around, you know then that that is a strong base for a good relationship, and you would both be able to get through a lot together, even if it ends with you both just dating. As long as you both have fun, well, surely it was worth it. I cannot stress this enough, 
needing space does not mean that the relationship is over. And I know you have that chronic panic feeling when someone says, I need space. If a woman says that she needs space, make sure not to just walk off and switch off. There is still a chance that she will come back, and it does not at all automatically mean that it's over. In fact, there is a huge chance that she will come back. So you don't want to cut ties completely and then ruin those future chances. Respect her need for space, ask how long she thinks she will need, and then you just get on living your own amazing, awesome, healthy life while she has her space. And then she comes back to you, and well, she's going to be even more attracted to you than she ever has been before. If you think I missed something from today's video, let me know down in the comments. Give me a huge thumbs up and consider subscribing to make my day. But if you want to get your name rolling up next to my face like these amazing people's names here, then all you have to do is click the link in the description bar below to find out a little bit more. Have an amazing day. See you soon.